That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. Today's Daily Dose of Stupid, the left is now calling for crackdowns on social media. And probably the stupidest thing about this, the thing that is the most hilarious about this, is their rationale is that the social media platforms themselves are engaged in intentionally undermining them somehow. So to give you a little bit of understanding of the background of the story, there was a video of Nancy Pelosi that was doctored. What they did was they slowed down the time so that when she spoke, it was really slow. Not slow enough to where it was obvious that it was edited, but just slow enough that she felt it looked like she was just a little bit senile or maybe even a little bit drunk and, and you know, she's kind of swaying a little bit. So this doctored video was put together seemingly to make Nancy Pelosi look bad. You could also, I guess, kind of interpret it as though just to make it look funny, because it, it does look funny. But the implication here, the idea is that it was put together specifically to fake people out into making people think that Nancy Pelosi was either drunk doing this interview or that she's really slow and not all that bright, whatever it may be. Which, first of all, I don't see that as being something that is incredibly damaging to Nancy Pelosi's reputation because there's literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours of Nancy Pelosi speaking that is not this video on Facebook and YouTube. But nonetheless, it is wrong to make fake videos of people and, and it's, un, it's unfair, it's not correct. Just like somebody could take one of the videos from my episode, uh, this episode today, and probably slow it down or speed it up and, and make me look bad or make me look worse than I actually am. It would be wrong for them to do that. It's wrong for them to do it with Nancy Pelosi. If you want to defeat Nancy Pelosi, do it on her ideas. Her ideas suck. It's not that hard. <laughs> so if you if you want to uh, politically bludgeon Nancy Pelosi, just play an unedited clip of her, and that pretty much takes care of itself. But nonetheless, this is what happened, and it is incorrect for somebody to do that. It's morally wrong for them to try to fake people out and to attack her on grounds like this. But in response to this... Nancy Pelosi actually goes after Facebook, and this is what that looked like. There is a false video that the Republicans are putting out on Facebook. Now, this is self-serving of me to say, but I say it because I don't want other... Women say to me sometimes, I would run, but I couldn't subject my family to what you go through. So well, we need you to run. So, you know, we have to get past that. But when a, a something like Facebook says... I know this is false, but we're, it's a lie, but we're showing it anyway. Well, to me, it says two things. One, uh, that they prob I was giving them the benefit of the doubt on Russia, but clearly they, I thought it was unwitting, but clearly they wittingly were accomplices and enablers of false information to go across Facebook. And okay, so a couple of really big takeaways from that, first of all, she is suggesting that Republicans put this video out there. How does she know that? Because first of all, there is a pretty radical branch of her own party that doesn't like her very much. The people that follow the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortezes of the world. The reason that she's saying that is because she kind of wants to drum up this imagery that it was the GOP that put it together. Or it was a Republican group, I don't know, in, in one of the states, like the Alabama GOP is here. The Alabama Republican Party. That it was some official capacity, that it was somebody that is actually with the Republicans that put this thing together and was lying about it. No, it was some random dude on the internet. Now, it could be somebody who is a member of the Republican Party. It could be somebody that considers themselves a Republican and votes for Republicans. But you know what else? It could also be an AOC supporter that really doesn't like Nancy Pelosi and wants to make her look bad. Nancy, you have no idea whether or not the people that did this is a Republican, and the reason that she brings this up, the reason that she says, oh, it was Republicans that put it out there, is because she wants to give people the impression that those evil, nasty, terrible Republicans, that it was, you know, Mitch McConnell or something, not that Mitch McConnell probably even knows how to use a computer because <laughs> he's a thousand years old, but that Mitch McConnell is the one that slowed the video down and put it out. That's the kind of impression that she's trying to put out there. 
that it was it was an some official capacity that the Republicans were putting it out there by saying it was the Republicans. You have no idea whether it was the Republicans or not. It was some random dude on the internet. Even if it was somebody that considers himself more conservative, you're giving the wrong impression intentionally. So was it disingenuous for this person to slow down your words and misrepresent you in this way? Sure. But what you're doing is just as wrong, implying that somebody put it out there when you don't know that or not. And secondly, and this is the bigger thing that is a problem, Pelosi is also saying that Facebook were willing conspirators with the Russians, that Facebook refusing to take this down, even though they knew it was a fake, they knew it was incorrect, that that means they were really working with Russia and they were trying to get Trump elected. Are you outside of your mind? Zuckerberg is a very liberal figure, and Silicon Valley as a whole is very left-leaning. In fact, Facebook has a long-standing tradition at this point. They have a long-standing record of censoring conservative voices. There was a Republican running in your own state, Nancy, for example, that was showing historic images of communism under Pol Pot, which, by the way, this wasn't just random. It was her family that was in Cambodia at the time, and Facebook straight up censored her. So this idea, and there was nothing wrong or, or fake about it, it was just showing some of the tragedy, some of the atrocities that took place under Pol Pot. It was no different than showing, you know, the inside of Auschwitz or something like that. There's also when they went after Diamond and Silk. I mean, there's a long-standing history of Facebook censoring specifically conservative voices. By the way, including me, three times now I've been censored by Facebook, and it was every single time it was either politically or religious motivated. It was something that was either of political or religious nature. This is a common thing with Facebook, and so this assertion that somehow Facebook was secretly working to make sure that Trump won and they were working with the Russians to put misinformation out there. Go home, Nancy, you're drunk. There's no semblance of logic anywhere in that statement. Silicon Valley is a notoriously left-leaning place. Uh, and here's, it really brings me to my next point. This is something that Hillary Clinton also tried to hit on. First of all, suggesting Facebook is willingly conspiring with the Russians to hurt Nancy Pelosi is absurd, but Hillary Clinton's clip and her attack on Facebook really, I think, brings up the bigger point, the bigger picture here. So this was her commenting on this yesterday. And similarly, the big social media platforms know their systems are being manipulated by foreign and domestic actors to sow division, promote extremism, and spread misinformation. But they won't get serious about cleaning up their platforms unless consumers demand it. And we saw why it's so important just last week when Facebook refused to take down a fake video of Nancy Pelosi. It wasn't even a close call. The video is sexist trash. And YouTube took it down, but Facebook kept it up. So let's send a message to Facebook that those who are in Facebook's communities would really like Facebook to pay attention to false and doctored videos before we are flooded with them over the next months. All right. So first of all, Nancy, or sorry, Hillary Clinton kind of shoots herself in the foot with making this argument because the whole narrative that they're trying to push is that social media is being reckless. And then she also says, well, YouTube took it down but Facebook kept it up. The fact that YouTube took it down, that they thought that that was somehow their responsibility to take down a doctored video of a Democrat congresswoman is in and of itself evidence that the left has a problem with censoring people that are dissenting voices and they don't like. Now, again, I don't think that it's fair game to doctor a video to paint somebody in a bad light. That shouldn't be the way that people ought to operate. But it's also not YouTube or Facebook's responsibility to keep that from happening. They're not a news organization. They're a platform. For example, News Radio 1440. We're not a platform. Not everybody gets to speak. 
despite what some callers try to convince people of on here, you don't automatically just get five, ten minutes worth of mic time. We censor people because we try to bring you content that we think that you're going to like. And that's the reason that they have me and they have Kevin. And when we do have callers, it's completely up to us whether we take callers and whether or not, you know, how, how long we keep them on. All of that is completely up to us because News Radio 1440 is a publisher. They create content and then they put it out there. We're not a platform. Not everybody gets to just show up and put whatever they want to on News Radio 1440. That, by the way, would bankrupt us because people could just put advertisements on here for free. But my point in all of that is to just give you an example. There is a stark contrast between getting critical, for example, if CNN or Fox News had put up this video that was a doctored video of Nancy Pelosi speaking and they did it to make her look bad. Okay, 100% fair game. It's, it's Even though they have a right to do it because they're protected by free speech, totally legitimate to claim that there was a problem there. Totally legitimate to say that the news organization was being disingenuous and they were intentionally trying to mislead people based on what the video showed and what they chose not to show. In other words, the unedited video were saying, hey, by the way, this video is slowed down a little bit. By not doing that, they were being disingenuous by attacking someone on those grounds. You know what else would be disingenuous? If, let's say, there was a video that seemed to show that there were a whole bunch of white Catholic school kids attacking a Native American, but when you look at it in full context, you see that that's not what happened at all. That would also be doctoring a video and being disingenuous with your coverage. And yet CNN did it and the left applauded and seemed to have no remorse whatsoever that these kids' lives were in many ways interrupted and negatively affected by CNN and other news organizations' reckless handling of a video that had been edited that changed the context of what was going on. You know what else I don't recall? And you may not have even remembered this story or seen it because it didn't get a whole lot of media coverage. That there was a, granted small, local TV affiliate that ran a doctored video of President Trump right before he addressed the nation from the White House to promote it, and they doctored it to make him look like he was licking his lips, and they slowed it down. Basically, a fancier version of exactly what happened to Nancy Pelosi was slowing down the footage to make her look like she's a little bit off. And so, when they did that, I don't remember the Democrats coming out, and this was an actual news organization, not a platform. I don't remember the Democrats coming out with fire and fury and saying that this needs to be dealt with. Now, another point that I think is a little odd, how is this sexist? Wrong, sure. How is it sexist? Can you only slow down the video of women? Is that somehow a statement? Can, can you not slow down video when it comes to men? Like, it, it's fair to say that the way that this video was handled was not correct and misleading. I don't see how you get sexism out of it. There is nothing here that implies in any way that this was done because Nancy Pelosi was a woman. But if you're Hillary Clinton, the only thing you know how to do is to scream sexism every time somebody does something that you don't like, and I guess that's how you wind up with thinking that somehow it's sexist. But nonetheless, Facebook ought to be an open platform, and if people want to put doctored videos up that's what they should do. They should keep those videos up. It is not Facebook's job to police their own content. It would be literally impossible for Facebook, even with all their money, all their assets, all of that time, it would be impossible for them to police all of their content. They have so much of it. Treat them like they're an open platform. If people want to use that venue to post videos of themselves... I mean, as long as somebody's not engaged in something illegal, which this is not, then that's their business. The idea that the Democrats are pushing out there that these social media platforms need to crack down on people that do things that make them look bad and that they should be the enforcement arm when it comes to misinformation, I'd never have understood that mentality. 
Granted, people shouldn't fall for misinformation. They should do their own homework, which is something I encourage people to do. But as far as saying that it is Facebook's responsibility to keep bad information out there, or it's Google's responsibility to keep doctored videos off of YouTube, no, that's not their job. They're just the platform. They don't control what's actually said on their platform, and they shouldn't be expected to. Make no mistake, what this all boils down to, what this is really about, is they are trying to convince social media to censor out voices of dissent. They've been trying to do this for a long time. I'm not going to revisit every news story. We've done a lot of segments on it. You can go back and watch them. You can go back and listen to them if you want to. But Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and the other big social media platforms, what is trying to be done here is the Democrats are trying to get them to crack down on voices of dissent. They've been doing it trying to say that, well, Breitbart shouldn't be, and granted, I don't even like Breitbart, but they're saying Breitbart shouldn't be on Facebook. They've done it with Alex Jones, saying Alex Jones says things we don't like, so we should throw him off too. We've got to stop this idea of thinking that these platforms that are just open forums for everybody, that they need to crack down on it. The truth is, the reason the Democrats are taking this stance is because they want to do this before the lead up to the next election, and they are terrified of any media that doesn't support their narrative. They can't handle it because they're so used to the media covering for them. They're so used for the vast majority of the mainstream media, MSNBC, CNN, uh, Huffington, uh, not Huffington Post, uh, Bloomberg, the other news network, HLN. They're so used to all of those organizations being in their pocket and running defense for them that it terrifies them to think that there are people like myself, or you know, people like Ben Shapiro or Steven Crowder that are on the internet constantly pointing out their bullcrap and saying, no, the way that they're saying it isn't true. They are terrified at the prospect of dissenting voices, and when people disagree with them, they can't handle it. They're trying to create an internet safe space. And that, at the end of the day, is what this is all really about. <laughs> Now, I know you're here because you're interested in information on what's going on in the state of Alabama and around the world, and you've come to the right place for that. But it's YouTube, so you could also just be here because you're bored. If you want me to keep making videos to keep you occupied, you need to go ahead and like and subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back to playing Minesweeper.